everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and today I'm going to do another two minute tip, trick or tutorial video uh, and in this one I'm going to show you how to customize your crosshairs, colors and a few other settings in AutoCAD. Um, I seem to get this uh, question about sizing crosshairs and customizing colors quite a bit uh, so I figured I'd show you guys how to get to the settings and, and how to change them quickly. Uh, so let's get started. To change the color of your background or the size or color of your crosshairs in AutoCAD, you're going to need to bring up the Options menu. Uh, you can do that by typing in Options and hitting Enter, or right-clicking and going down to Options in the model space. That also works in uh, Layout as well. Once you get into your Options menu, uh, you're going to want to click on the Display tab. In here, you can change your crosshair size, uh, which seems to be a pretty common question. And it's not super intuitive on where you would find this. So we're going to up it to, let's just up it to 60, and I'll show you what it does. So you can see the crosshair is pretty big now. Uh, a lot of people like to have it full screen, uh, and you can do that by upping the size as well. Kind of so it's always semi-visible. Um, when you're drawing. I tend to like mine smaller, so I'm going to set it back down to around 10. Uh, the other option uh, that I get asked about a lot is how to change the colors. And this one makes a lot of sense because some people like to draw on the dark background like this one, uh, and others like the light. So you can change the color scheme of the entire uh, kind of the extents of your uh, system, and I'll change this, but that doesn't really change a lot. You can see that around the, the bottom uh, and the top of the tool palettes are all lighter now, but it doesn't affect your background color. So if you'd like to go with a light scheme like this, I'd change that to light and then go to colors. And here you can change in your model space, your background. So if you like it white, you can do change it to white there. You can choose the color for your crosshairs. Uh, I've got blue right now, but you can change it to anything you'd like. You can also change the layout space, what the background of it is going to be. And it's set to white right now as well. So let's switch it and you'll see the difference, right? So now you can see we've got a white drawing background as well as for layout space. Now I like my layout space as being white, but I like to draw in the dark. So I'm going to set it back to that. Uh, mainly because it's a little easier on my eyes, I find. Let's go like that. So there you go. That's how you would change the color or your crosshairs in AutoCAD. Uh, in here you can also change settings like um, whether or not you want the status bar displayed. You can also turn on or off the uh, layout and model tabs as well as display a printable area on your paper space. That's the dashed line along the extents of your sheet. Um, all these can be found in the options menu under display. Well, thanks again for watching, and if you have any questions, just leave them below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out my site, cadintentions.com. Cheers! In our first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to group and ungroup objects in AutoCAD. So to get started, you're going to need uh, any kind of objects. This works with text, hatching, line type, dimensions, you name it. So we're going to select all of this stuff 